Welcome to Jackal DIY and Tech. In today's video, we'll do some benchmarks for this PC using the UniGine 2. And why I'm doing it? Well, basically, I want to compare it the GPU, which is the RTX 3060 Ti to an RTX 3080. And we'll see what the difference is. And also, I will not be able to put the GPU inside because the 3080 is too big. So I will be using a PCI riser like this one. So it's an extension cable. And I also want to know if this somehow limits the performance. So that is why we'll be doing the benchmark as is with the side panels off. But then I'll put the GPUs somewhere here. At least it depends on how long that extension cable will be. Now we have the benchmark and we have a bunch of presets. So I think I'll just go with medium, then high and extreme. So let's go with the medium preset and see how long this actually takes. So we have FPS at the top, I hope you can see it, currently it's floating at 160 to 170, the GPU is at 1900 MHz and the memory is at 7700 MHz, the temp is around 60 and the utilization is about 98%. Now at the moment I'm not using OBS to record the footage, so I'm just letting the GPU do its thing at maximum capacity. And I see we have 17 scenes to go through, so I do wonder how long this will actually take. But we always have the option to press escape and leave the benchmark, so that's a nice feature. Wow, the scientists who were really cooking, they made all of the objects levitate. Or maybe they have someone with superpowers locked inside this black cylinder, who knows. So we got the result and now I'll go back. The medium preset was definitely not a lot as it was only using I guess 1300 out of 8000 megabytes of memory. So if I go to high it's less than half, same with extreme. So I guess we could go with 4K and 8K presets as well. So maybe that is what I'll do and see how the results will be. And I will come back 
once all of that is done and it will be time to switch out well not switch out the GPU because I'll also do the tests with the GPU outside but I will do the test outside with the extension cable so once I'm at that point I will see you back in the video so I have done all of the tests with the GPU inside the case and we'll do all of the tests again with the GPU outside and then also change the GPU and we'll take a look at those tests at the end so the GPU is now out and now for the extension cable just like that the cable is in now I have not tested it yet so I have no idea if this will just work out of the box or if I actually have to set some settings in the BIOS some users have issues that this does not work out of the box and they have to lower the PCIe version so instead of using the PCIe 4 version they have to use PCIe 3 which means that the GPU will be a little bit slower but it shouldn't be that big of a difference so the GPU won't stand on its own as you can see it's bending a little bit so I have just the thing I need a piece of a wooden puzzle so I can simply put this below so we have some signal and let's turn this back on so we do have an image on the PC now I have previously ran all of the benchmarks from 1080p all the way to 8k optimized I just not have used the 720p low or any custom resolutions and I've done this under the performance benchmark I did not use VR or this gaming preset so I'll do the same benchmarks again this time with the GPU out and connect it via the extension cable so we will see if this makes any difference and if so by how much then just like before I will not record this with OBS so the performance will be maximum without anything else running in the back so let's do a test and also previously when I ran the second benchmark the benchmark crashed I did not see when maybe it crashed during the loading but it did give me a pop-up and I just press continue ran the benchmark again and it was fine the second set of tests is now done And the last thing that I have to do is test out this GPU which is quite huge and heavy. So the wooden blocks do come in handy and I will only be using one power cable because I can't actually get to the power supply to put a new cable in. Still this should be enough as I have run the GPU with just one power cable. But that is because I have not done anything to the GPU. So if you do something extreme, then maybe you do need two separate power cables. And just so you can see the massiveness of the GPU, I've put you to a new location. And you can also now compare how big the RTX 3060 Ti is to this one, the RTX 3080. Now this GPU on the medium preset has about 220 FPS. It has the same graphics core memory, so about 1900 MHz. The memory is 9500 and the GPU temperature is 70 degrees with the utilization of 97%. Now how high the score will be, we'll take a look at the end. So this is the first score of the RTX 3080. Now let me do the rest of the tests and I'll come back once everything is done.
So the superposition results are now in. I will put them on the screen so that you can compare between the two. One interesting thing that I saw is that the 1080p extreme preset had a worse performance on both cards than the 4K optimized. Now does that mean that you can play every game at 4K with better performance than at 1080p with maxed out settings? Probably not. But that will depend on a game to game basis and also how many FPS you actually do want to have. Now I think this will be it for this video, do let me know if you want to see some gaming benchmarks using setup like this, but if you do, just know that I will not be using this PC. Initially I did want to use it, but it is just a pain in the butt to set this up with the cable because the case is quite small, so if that is something that you would like to see, do let me know for a future video. But just so you know, I will not be using high-end components, I will be using low-end and mid-range, and that's because it's something that I use, and most of you also don't have access to high-end components at affordable prices.